Good morning, folks. As we watch a plasma filament eject on the southwestern limb of our star, we are beginning an ominous day of seismic outlook. We'll do some weather as well, but we're starting over at spaceweathernews.com, finding a calm day on the Earth-facing disk. Coronal hole departing has not yet had its solar wind hit Earth, and the sparse active regions we do have have produced no solar flares thus far and have non-threatening magnetism. The solar wind is still calm, but in blue, the phi angle shift indicates a magnetic flip in the electric field known as a sector boundary crossing that provided increased coupling and pressure, and as the magnetotail flux briefly closed an outflow of plasma, we watched geoelectric fluctuations shoot down through the United States. While speculation is as far as evidence will ever get us on this one, it is days like this when we usually have the multiple simultaneous unexplained transmission outages occur. The departing coronal hole, as we said, is going to have its solar wind impact Earth tonight or tomorrow. But until then, the seismic alert is elevated and we took a 6.4 in New Caledonia, which was luckily not as scary of an aftershock as the 6.8 and 6.6 they took there less than a month ago. Not a day has gone by without aftershocks there. The global October climate report is out and we're toggling between the real temperature chart and the one you're going to see sent out to the public. The one with more blue shows the real data and it is either whitewashed or actually turned red in the publicly disseminated image. That's numerous colder than average areas going into the official reports and minds of the public as being warmer than average. In yesterday's U.S. weather forecast, we showed the pressure convergence of wind coming from the northwest and the south, combining for expected rainy conditions in the east. The air masses colliding have different moisture, temperature, pressure, and electric potential, and all that has to find equilibrium at the convergence, and the energetic shift is evident in the clouds and storms produced. Today's top story is a bit of a scary one. Folks, the periodic millisecond slowdown of Earth's rotation really snuck up on us. It happens next year. And when it happens, our average of 15 magnitude 7 earthquakes per year shoots up over 20 and stays there for the entire five-year period of the cycle segment. That means that the quietest year in the historical record, 2017, in which only six magnitude 7 earthquakes have occurred so far, one of them an aftershock, is the definition of the calm before the seismic storm. This is wholly separate and additive of the effect on top of what comes from the Earth's weakening magnetic field, the only thing standing in the way of space energy, and with cosmic rays surging, expect it, and the corresponding viscosity increases in silica-rich magma, and are forecasting at least one VEI-5 with high potential for VEI-6 volcanic eruption, it appears Kronos is about to break out of Tartarus. We've got wind maps followed by shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and involvement, and we'll have a number of ways for you to do that shown here in the ending sequence. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.25 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.